girl KJ is back with another episode and it's on four of the truth about dating in the 21st century. Yes guys, this is my new series of the truth about dating in the 21st century. If you have not checked out the previous episode, remember to do that and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, this is run to 1000 subscribers and today I'm going to talk about a very very interesting topic. It's called the things you should never do when you are dating. Yes guys, things that you should not the don'ts while you are dating. And I'll go right into the point. My first point is don't force conversation. You know, I know this is a new person to you. You don't know most things about them, but don't feel awkward when you have silence in between them. Don't force conversation. Just let the con conversation flow. Let the vibe flow. Yeah, with time you'll know this person, but don't go forcing conversation. Hey, I in a awkward and weird. You know, okay? point is having high expectation when you start dating someone you should not expect anything from him as in high high it's okay to expect but don't expect too much you know expectation is the reason why most people break up because when you enter that relationship you thought that this and this and this will happen to me this and this will happen to me but now when you are deep into that relationship and you you feel like oh now this this is not what i i was expecting you know just have low expectation. Yes. Attack for your son, dog. Find your son. Oh, so you can do that. It's not like you to dictate for him or her what he or she should do for you. You get me? You get me? Yes. And then another thing is getting over attached to someone. Do not get overly attached to someone when you are dating. Because this is dating. This is not that marriage. He or she has not proposed to you. As not tell you that he wants to marry you. Okay, maybe he has said he wants to marry you, but you are not even sure he will marry you. You know, in this generation, unless the ring slide into your hand, baby girl, do not do not put your hopes up high. You know, so don't get overly attached to someone. It's okay to feel attached and all that, but before you know someone, do not get over ills you fall unaingiari depend you you fall fall deep 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 into getting attached with someone you love them so much and that's when you break up you know machine of move on you know yes do not get over attached to someone when you are dating another point is stop analyzing text and calls it's okay for you to ask who called but just are you going into his phone or a phone every time someone is she has just okay let me say every time someone calls him immediately the calls end you are there who was that what were you talking about la, 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 la. and you, you it's like you are insecure this is your man this is your girlfriend do not go into his private life i believe phone is one of those private things Okay, you should just trust him and uh, trust that it will be okay. You know, I know, I know most of you will disagree with this because, <laughs> because you feel like phone no everything. But you know, some, some, some even just call their friends genuinely. Some are honest genuinely, especially for women. Most women are very, very, very loyal when it comes to their partners. You feel me? I know you do. Another point that you should not do in a relationship, you should not compare your current partner with your ex. You know, well, you are always talking about your ex, that my ex did this, my ex do that, my ex, my ex, my ex, my ex. No one, no one's want to hear about your ex while you are dating them. We are tired of listening to you talking to us about your ex. So what? What about you? If you are not, if you will be talking about him or her every time the conversation pop up, what about you? You know, comparison is a gift of joy. Once, some of your, maybe your current partner is not living up to the expectation of what you expected. Maybe your current ex was the, you know, the la cream of whatever. But this other one is trying to come up to speed with, with, with you. So give, give your current partner a chance to try and be a self or himself around you do not dictate what he should do just because the previous person did used to do this and this to you you feel me 
I know you do. Another point. Stop. And I repeat, stop only focusing on yourself. Most of you just want things to be about them. When you're talking, they just like, oh, it's me who's going through this. It's me, it's, it's me, it's me, it's me. Until when? Until when it will be you, 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 you. Stop that, please. Stop that, please. It is not interesting. It is not lovely. Even it's not even good. You, you, as in, it means you are selfish. You feel me? As in, watch out how you to express. There is a book I was reading a while back. That book was talking about focusing on yourself and focusing on your partner. And for you, if you want a serious relationship with someone or if you want to be in someone's life, I think you should give them a chance to express themselves. That's what they, they will feel the need to be there. They will feel needed. They will feel like, yes, this is what I wanted in my life. And you are here with me today. <laughs> and that's it for this video. Remember to like, share, and comment. Don't do these things while you are dating. And also you can leave a comment down there of things that you should not do while you are dating. And let me know what you think about this series. Until next time. Bye.